Hey, Jakey! Look what I got! Jakey, boy! Jake! Jake! Just uh, calling to check in, see how you and Jake are doing. Uh, give him a big hug for me. Talk to you soon.
What's up, Jake? Where's Jake? Jake! Jake! Jakey! Uh, you check Jackson Field, right? Hey, uh, what about the high school? Of course. Um, the, the, the elementary school uh, baseball field. Yes, and I checked the football field. I looked everywhere that you take him. Jakey! Somewhere. Where? It's a surprise. Tell me. Well, if I tell you, it won't be a surprise anymore. Mom. Yeah, you obviously called the pound that I got him from, right? Yeah, I, I told you twice a day. And what about the veterinarians? Anybody bring in an injured dog? Look, I called every dog doctor in town. I've looked everywhere. Where are you, buddy? Well, what about the pound in Nashton? That's eight miles away. He wouldn't have gone that far. The pound is eight miles away, but the city limit is only a half a mile away. What if they picked him up on the other side? I'm going to check the pound in that. from the animal shelter that someone else has trained already. Yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! <sighs> He's cute! Do you like those? Or that one in there? Oh! What about this one? Too small and too yappy. But he's a miniature poodle. And poodles don't shed. I'll know my dog when I see him. Can we please see this one? See? Isn't he exactly what you wanted? He's perfect! It's him! It's a dog you nearly ran over. How do you know? I remember it. Isn't he the most beautiful dog you've ever seen? Katie, look at him. He's filthy. Can you give him the doggy bat? Is he properly trained? Mm, who knows? He's a stray. See, honey, we don't know anything about him. We should keep looking. Mom, no. He's the one. He's my dog. No, I'm sorry. Absolutely not. <laughs> There you go. He's all yours. <laughs> you won't be sorry. He's a prince of a dog. Prince! That's what I'm going to call him. Come on, Prince. Heel, Prince, heel. Here, let me take him. I can do it. No, heel. Here, Prince, heel. Here, open the door. Heel! Okay, go in. No, not sit. In. Prince, go in. Come on, don't be mean to him. Prince, please go in. Okay. Um, go around to the other side of the door and call his name. Okay. Okay. Prince, come on. Come on. Go in. Here, Prince. Here. Go. In. Here. Go. Prince. Here. Uh, see? <sighs> okay. Put your seatbelt on. You blocked me in! You have plenty of room! Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. 
Good night. Hey. Hey. How was your trip? Oh, it was great. Thanks. Have a good weekend. You too. Jakey. Jake, can I help you? Have you seen this guy? No, I haven't seen him. But I've been on vacation the last two weeks. Have a look around. Thanks. Jake. 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 Hey. Hey. No luck. Um, can I put this up here? Yeah. Watch a game with you? Hey, you want to come down to the high school with me and see how the summer league team does? It's one of Coach Thomas's last games, only a few more before he retires. Come on, it'll take your mind off of things. Well, I'm gonna wait here just you know, in case he comes back. Whatever he is, he's gonna be sad and lonely and just trying to find his way home. Caitlin, having a dog is a big responsibility. Seeing that Prince is your dog, it's your job to train him. Now, remember how I told you to train Teddy, right? First you say his name to get his attention, then you give him his command, and then you give him his reward. Do I give him a treat? <laughs> it's best just to give him a load of love. Like, watch this. Prince, sit. Sit. Prince, sit. Good. Prince, stay.
Prince is a disaster waiting to happen. You said we could have a dog. I said we could have a dog. He'll get better, I promise. He is not the right dog for us. He's the right dog for me. Hey. Hey, how was the weekend? It was quiet. Good. Have a good one. You too. Hey. the animal shelter what do you want looking for my dog i don't have your dog uh, yeah you adopted my dog jake 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 come here <laughs> i've been looking everywhere for you where did you go why'd you run away buddy oh it's so good to see you oh how have you been they've been taking good care of you buddy oh, wait, wait. What, what is this? You see? We have a problem, don't we? Caitlin, can you please take him to the backyard so Mr... Ben Fuller. So Mr. Fuller and I can talk? There is no way that I'm leaving without my dog. Okay, look. That dog of yours is a completely untrained monster. But my daughter's fallen in love with him. So if you just give me a few days, I think I can talk her down. I'm going to let Jakey stay there for a couple of days, okay? You don't get it. It's, it's an impossible situation. You seriously just left him there. Please tell me she's hot. She is not hot. Okay, she is hot, but that's not the point. Yes, it is. You just let her steal your dog. If she's not hot, what other excuse do you have? You did not let her steal Jake. Okay, you did not see that little girl. She, she was heartbroken. Buddy, uh, next to baseball, Jake is your whole life. You do everything together. I mean, you even don't date women unless he likes them. She, she's trying to talk her daughter into letting him go. She said she'd call. Right. How many women have you told that to? She legally owns him now. But what was she going to do? Call the cops? I mean, she was just trying to get you out of there without a fight. She totally played you, dude. You know how you feel about Prince? I love him. And you've only had him for a weekend. Imagine how poor Mr. Fuller must feel since he's had him since he was a puppy. I thought you didn't like him. Well, I don't, but it doesn't mean I can't imagine how he feels. And imagine how Prince must feel. You know how you miss your old friends from school? Well, don't you think that Prince feels the same way? He's happy. Look at him. We've got to think about what's best for Prince. I'm good for him. We can get you another puppy, Caitlin. And I promise in a day or two, you'll love him the same way you love Prince. Will you put him in the back? Okay. What are you doing here? I thought we agreed that I'd call you. Oh, look, there's an adoption at PetSmart this weekend, okay? All of these dogs are looking for homes. I'll pay any expenses that are involved. Your daughter can have any one of these adorable dogs. I don't want another dog. You couldn't wait another day. Please. If we let you have Prince, can I see him sometimes? Yeah. Yeah, I take him to the dog park all the time. You can meet us there. Honey, I do think that this is the best decision for everybody, especially Prince. But are you sure? I love him. And he's been with you longest. He'll miss you most. You are being very grown up right now. And I'm very proud of you. 
Thank you. He's in the backyard. Do you want to go and get him? Yeah. I gotta get this. Why'd you miss me, buddy? Okay. I miss you, too. Oh, good boy. Thanks for taking such good care of him. He's a great dog, isn't he? He's my best friend. Have you ever had another dog? My friend Amy does. Yeah? Did you take Jakey to go meet her dog? No. She lives where we used to live. She just moved here. You know, when I first got drafted in pro ball, I was like, whew, I made it, finally, you know? It's all peaches and cream from here. And then I got traded to another team, and then another team, and I had to leave all my friends behind, and... Yeah, but then I realized it's actually kind of fun, finding new stuff to do and meeting new friends. Jake's the only friend I've got. You know... I'll take him away from you. We can't both have him. Well, we could share him. You know, when I'm on a road trip, he can stay with you. When I'm home, he can stay with me. <laughs> oh, there you two are. Can we, please? Can we what? To Prince. We with us half the time, and with Ben half the time. That's a fair idea. When you go away again? Well, not till the end of next week. But, uh, you want to watch him this week anyway? Can I? Yeah, sure. <laughs> and what happens when the season's over and you're not going on road trips anymore? Dude, I don't know. We'll just cross that bridge when we come to it. I mean, Caitlin's got to have started their new school by then. She's bound to have made some human friends, right? And this, uh... Shared custody of your dog. That was what? The uh, mother's brilliant idea? No, it was my idea. Okay, I couldn't hurt Caitlin. At least now I don't have to worry about Jake taking himself on walks while I'm away. I can't believe I let it happen. I mean, one minute I'm talking her into giving up Prince or Jake, whatever his name is, completely. And the next minute I've been suckered into dog sitting him whenever Mr. Ben Fuller feels like it. He said he's a professional baseball player. Oh, that sounds cool. Yeah, he's one of those guys who refuses to grow up and always gets his own way. <laughs> How do you know? You just met him. I know the type. Can you imagine his house with that dog running riot all the time? Oh, come on. All men are slobs. Yeah, maybe. That's why when it's our turn to drop him off, we're doing it at the dog park. <laughs> he's cute. So is his buddy. Say goodbye to him. Bye, Jakey. You be good. I'll see you soon. Okay, come on. I wasn't sure you'd come. I keep my word. Good hustle, Jimmy. All right, good job. All right, let's give it up for Big Ben Fuller. Come on, guys. So, Big Ben, how many years have you been playing Pro Bowl? Oh, man, uh, more years than I care to think about. Okay, kids, let's hit it. Hey, good luck in the playoffs, huh? Hey, you're a good coach. Well, I'm just passing on what you taught me. So, um, given any thought as to what you might do when you, uh, you finish playing Pro Bowl? Uh, well, not yet. You know, I got a lot of good years of playing left in me. Yeah. I see that. You know, um, you're coming to my retirement party, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course I am. <laughs> yeah, they still haven't found someone to replace me. They asked Tommy Turner. Guy turned him down flat. Said he was too old to leave the junior high. 
Yeah. Well, good luck with that. And I can find anybody to replace you, Coach. Yeah, yeah. Don't you have a game tonight? Oh, man. Oh, I gotta go. I'm late. Thanks. See you soon. Hey. Thank you. Anytime. Am I interrupting? No. A break would be a relief. Uh-huh. You know it's against pool rules to bring work up here, right? I mean, there's a sign over there. It's compulsory reading for one of the courses I'm teaching. You need to go out and have more fun. No, the last thing I need right now in my life is a relationship. Who <laughs> said anything about a relationship? I'm just talking about going out and having some fun. Mommy, look! Good try, honey. She's a really happy girl these days. Yeah, she is. Good job. Oh, that's that's it. Honey, it's 11.30. He's probably not coming. You're only saying that because you don't like it. He's coming. He's just late. He's nearly an hour and a half late. Most people are late sometimes. Go get it, buddy. I miss you. Somebody got a present. For me? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, it's a guidebook to Roanfield. You know, whenever I got traded to a new city, the first thing I did was get a guidebook. That way I knew where all the fun stuff was and all the places to make new friends. Here, look, mark some pages for you. Uh, page 147. The ice cream parlor. Oh, best in the county. Maybe even the state. And here, page 37. Oh, crap, these pizza. Their food is so good there. And they got this arcade that is totally awesome. Thank you. Mom, look what them got me. Yeah, it's even got the best laser tag, the ice skating rinks, and even the museums. Well, that's very sweet of you, but she's been waiting for you since 10 o'clock. Uh, what do you mean? I was supposed to be here at 11, wasn't I? No, 10. Um, can, can you make that 11, please? I'm so not an early morning person. And I'm sorry about the extra 30 minutes I've been held up at the bookstore. Well, it was really nice of you. So we'll see you in five days at the dog park. Okay, uh, but 11, right? 11. Oh, good. Mom, I found somewhere they teach tennis. Do you want to take some lessons? Can I? Sure. I'll give him a call right now. We'll have to try him again in the morning. Okay. What the? Jake! Oh, you bad, bad dog! I can't believe you ate a piece of meat! Ouch! Oh, that's it! Oh, you have really done it this time! You're not gonna give him back to Ben? No, I am taking him here. Dogs are pack animals. They don't respond to weak, permissive humans. Like Ben Fuller. They are much more comfortable when they know who is the boss and what the rules are. You are Alpha. You are your dog's master. You cannot ask nicely for your dog's cooperation. You must demand it. Raise your clicker. On three, say your dog's name and sit. One, two, three. Name sit. Jake, sit. This might take a while. 
He showed up like that. Coach put him in. And you wonder why stuff like that happens. I can't believe the coach actually let him play. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Hi. Hi. So, uh, where's Caitlin? Where's Jake? Caitlin's with our neighbor, Gail. At the hamburger restaurant, your book recommended. And Jake... Jake, come! Jake, come! Sit. Good boy. Uh, what did you do to my dog? Isn't he better now? We took him to an obedience trainer. We found her from the book you gave Caitlin. It took him a while to get it, but once he did, he really took to it. You just didn't know how to bring out the best in him. Bring out the best in him? Oh, is that what this is? No, you sucked his soul out of him. Look, look at the poor guy. Let me tell you something. In my house, nobody's in charge, okay? He, he's my friend. He's not my subject. That was his problem. And yours. Listen, you can't take him and get him trained without my consent. Give Calm a try. You'll be surprised at how much happier he is. Jake, stay. Good boy. See you Wednesday. Seriously? Come on, Jake. We're not going to take this lying down, are we? No, no, no. Jake, don't, don't. Lie down. Come on, get up. Jake, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Give Daddy a kiss. Come on. Kiss. Jake, kiss. Oh, okay, okay. Boy, look what I got for you. Payback time. Oh, buddy. Look what I got. What's this? What's this? Jakey, come here. What's this? Come here. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Heal. Heal. Oh, good boy. Heal. Good boy. Get it. Get it. Get it. Please. So, how was it with a calm train, Jake, for once? Uh, well, it was tough at first, but you know, I realized once I saw it through your eyes, or maybe I should say, uh, walked in your shoes, uh, it was good. Jake, sit. Good boy. All right, see you all around. Jake, stay. Have fun. Jake, heal. Jake, heal. Jake! Heel! Jake! Jake, heel! My best shoes! Jake, heel! You! He's really cute. Doc, fine. Look, I don't get the call if I don't play. You won't be playing shortstop in a t-ball league if you can't throw. Sorry, Ben. You're back on the DL. All right. This is happening too often. You're not 24. You don't heal so quick like you used to. You need to start thinking about what you're going to do with your life after baseball. What are you talking about? There's plenty of guys playing in the majors that are older than I am. Yeah, and they're not my problem. And no more walking that stupid mud holding the leash in your throwing arm, okay? You're on the DL. Jake, come. Jake, sit. Jake, down. Jake, stay. What are you doing here? You're an hour early. Boss got in sooner than I thought it would. 
Gotta come by and pick up Jakey on the way home. Well, you're lucky that I'm home because I just got back from the trainer. I had to get him an extra lesson to undo the damage you did. You took him back to the trainer. I didn't say you could do that. If I want to take him to a trainer, I will. You are going to ruin him. We co-own Jake. You have to agree on things like that. According to his license, I own him. I can't believe you stole my dog. Your dog ran away. I adopted my dog. Jake! Jake! Jake, Jake come here! Jake! 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 Oh, this is all my fault. I should have trained him when he was younger. No, it was my fault. They should have never left that front door open. It was so stupid. We hadn't been arguing about him in front of him, then none of this would ever happen. Jake is one lucky dog. According to his x-rays, he doesn't have any broken bones. And from the patterns of his bruises, I'd say he hit the side of the car running flat out. But the driver managed to stop before she ran over him. But he's going to be... He's going to be okay? Yes, he's going to be fine. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> can we take him home? I've given him something to help him sleep. He needs plenty of rest, but yeah, you can take him home today. Thank you. Thanks, Doc. Yeah. <sighs> hey, can I take him home, please? I know it should be your night, but I just... Caitlin will be really upset if she doesn't get to see him. Yeah, of course. Do you want to come over? I mean, while he gets settled and just to make sure that he's comfortable. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, let me just uh, take care of the bill. Oh, we'll share the bill. Like we share Jake. Okay, sleep well. Get better quickly. Can I lay down next to him? Sure. I think he'd like that. We should, uh, we should probably call a truce, you know, for Jake's sake. I agree. So, truce? Truce. Uh, there we go. So, what did you do? Oh, uh, just a little tendonitis. I'm on the DL for a couple of weeks. Oh. It's a uh, disabled list. It's part of the game. <laughs> well, I, I hope it heals quickly. Yeah, you and me both. Oh, keep me posted on how Jake's doing, huh? I promise. And thanks again for letting him stay here. Yeah, it's no problem. You didn't have to. Uh, Thank you for taking care of Caitlin. My pleasure. So, Ben doesn't seem all bad after all. Behind every cloud, there's a silver lining. Or maybe there's always a second chance to make a first impression. <laughs> no, I am still not interested. <sighs> so, do you think the truce will last? Uh, I sure hope so. How does it feel? <laughs> Cold and numb. You know, you've been on the DL three times already this season. Oh, thanks for reminding me, buddy. Injuries come with age. You start thinking about what you're going to do when you can't play anymore. I'm not even going to start thinking about it until I've had at least two full seasons of the majors. Hey, can I come in? Hi. Sure. Okay. How's the patient? Uh, he's fine. Hey, Caitlin. Hey, Jake. Look, I got Mr. Fuzzy Bear for you. Yeah. Has he been eating? Not much. Uh, that said he probably wouldn't for a couple days. Is he swallowing his pills okay? Mm-hmm. We're going to watch a movie. Can you stay? Uh, I wish. I got to jump on a bus. 
Are you playing again? <laughs> uh, no, unfortunately not. I get to sit on the bench and watch them have all the fun. Oh, speaking of which, I gotta go. Are you always late? Caitlin. <laughs> uh, no, no, she's right. Yeah, most of the time I am. My mother says punctuality is the politeness of kings. She also says that nobody's perfect, and that's why pencils have erasers. <laughs> okay, well, there's hope for me yet. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, you get better, buddy. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Well, so far, so good. Ice it up for another ten minutes. Thanks, Doc. Hi. Hey, how are you? We're all good. Yeah? How's Jake doing? He's doing fine. Um, can I talk to him? You want to talk to Jake? Yeah. Sure. Katie, it's Ben, and he wants to say goodnight to Jake. Hi, Ben. Hey. He's here. Jake, it's Ben. Jake. What's going on, buddy? How you doing? Can you hear me? Huh? How you doing? You miss me? Oh, buddy, I hope you're doing better. Are they playing ball with you? Did you get your favorite stuffy? Go get it, Jakey. Go get it. Why doesn't he want to play? He was hit by a car. Is he okay? Yes. Can I pet him? Yes, but be very gentle. Oh, I forgot. I have a faculty meeting on Tuesday. Is there any chance you could watch Caitlin? Sure. Yeah. Hey, thanks. Hi. Hey, how you doing? How was his trip to the vet? Well, he uh, he said that he needed to start getting some exercise, so we're at the dog park. Yeah, sounds fun. Uh, so is he ready for some bend time? Oh, yes. Some bend time would do him well. Okay, good. Why don't I um, come get him from you there in about an hour? Okay. You know what? Actually, Jake is, is pretty much tuckered out already, and I should take him home soon so he could rest a while. But uh, I could take him to your house at about four, okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <sighs> Jake's coming home. We need to clean this place before he gets here. Jake likes the house the way it is. This is his home. No, these days he's used to a clean, perfect, tidy home, okay? I should have insisted that I pick him up. Wait a minute, Jake's not the only one on his way over, is he? <laughs> hey, hey, what are you doing? Those are Jake's toys. He's going to remember that you trashed his toys, and he's not going to forgive you for the rest of his life. You realize that, don't you? Do you see that? It's a vacuum. Why don't you see if it works? Oh. It's good. Yeah. yeah, good job, buddy. Oh, um, okay, she's here. Uh, uh, cover for me, okay? Jake, stay. Hi. Hi. Uh, is Ben in? Yes. May I see him, please? Uh, he'll be down in a minute. Uh, we didn't get to talk much when we met the other day at the park. I'm Riles. I remember. I'm Megan. So you're, uh, Jake's co-parent, huh? Oh, I guess you could call it that. Yeah. I'm Ben's best friend. Yeah. Spiritual advisor, dog walker extraordinaire sometimes. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, I think she gets the picture. Sorry about that. I didn't know you were here. No, that's okay. Riles and I were getting to know each other better. Um, uh, goodbye, Riles. Right. Hey. Hey. Oh, you look well. So do you. 
you, right? How's our patient? Oh, right. Yeah. Jake, come. <laughs> Hi, buddy. He's looking well. He's healing fast. Jake, sit. Wow. And I didn't use the clicker. <laughs> he doesn't need it much since the accident. Maybe you heard his call a truce. Maybe. Jake, heal. Nice house. What, are you expecting something different? No. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what, just because I play ball? What, you figured I was like some college jock with empty beer bottles and dirty laundry everywhere? Probably. Something like that. Wow, you've won a lot of trophies. Anyway, uh, we need to establish some ground rules for Jake so there's consistency between his two homes. Okay. So first, no jumping on any of the furniture. Oh, uh, is he sleeping on Caitlin's bed? Sometimes. Uh-huh. Well, then he has to sleep on my bed. Yep, sometimes. Okay. But those are the only two exceptions. Next, food. No human food. Only dog food and only in the kitchen. Okay, I agree about the kitchen. But he is allowed to have leftovers. Okay, he can have leftovers. About the furniture. Okay, he's not allowed on anything except for Caitlin's and mine's bed. Sometimes. And the sofa in front of the TV set. All right. But that's it. Nothing else. Yes. <laughs> Deal. Shake on it. Ow! Oh! I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, we will not be using these anymore. So you can trash them, smash them, do whatever you want with them. Thank you. So when do you go away again? Um, not for another nine days. Well, we'll see you then. Okay. Uh, actually, you know what? I was just thinking that might be too long. Yeah, uh, you know, for Caitlin. Not seeing Jake for nine days. Maybe I can bring him to you for a couple days. Uh, say Wednesday. Yeah, that way she doesn't worry that he's going to forget about her. Thank you. That's that's very kind of you. I'm sure she'd like that. Yeah, of course. Uh, it'll be really good for Jake also. I uh, guess we'll see you then. <laughs> Hi. I just got a call from my biggest client. And she's flying in tomorrow afternoon. She needs to see me as soon as she lands. I'm sorry, I don't I don't think I can watch Caitlin. Oh, hey, no. Don't apologize. Any other day, you know? Oh, I know, I know. Uh, I'll figure something out. I'm so sorry. Yeah. I can stay here on my own. I'm not leaving a 10-year-old girl alone for four hours, especially in a house we just moved into. What are you looking for? Child care. I don't need a babysitter. Hey. Hi. How's he doing? Oh, yeah, he's doing great. Right now he's eating his dog food dinner out of his dog bowl in the kitchen. Good on three counts. Do you have a game to go to tomorrow? No. I have a big favor to ask of you. Mm, which one's your favorite? I like bubblegum and mint chocolate chip. What do you like? Uh, I like pralines and cream. What about your mom? What's your favorite? She likes strawberry and chocolate. Why are you using your sling? Oh, because my arm's starting to feel better. I should have been throwing on it. No more rehab should be back to new. Hopefully. I said we're having pizza. Well, we are. We're having an upside-down dinner, which means we're having dessert before our main course. But before we have our pizza, you and I have to run a little errand. Where? It's a surprise for your mom, and I need your help. What? This is amazing. Mm-hmm. 
Hey. How was your meeting? Oh, it was, uh, it went very well. Thank you. Did you guys have fun? Yeah, we did. There's some pizza here if you're hungry. It's the best pizza in the whole country. How do you know that? Because Ben has eaten pizza in all 50 states. And this is the best he's ever had anywhere. Mm -hmm. It's true. And we went shopping. Oh, yeah? What did you guys buy? Something for you. Some things for you. <laughs> for me? Yeah. Well, what did you get me? Let me show you. You, you didn't have to. Uh, yeah, I should have. <laughs> They're beautiful. And they're my size. That's because I had a clever little helper. Thank you. Here. Hey, is she asleep? Almost. You got yourself a great kid. Thank you again for bailing me out. Yeah, no problem. We had a great time. And for all the shoes. Yeah, well, <laughs> that would do that much at least. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Actually, uh, you know, if you're not doing anything Thursday night, uh, I'm not playing a game. And I was wondering if, you know, maybe... Uh, ben Fuller, are you asking me out? Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, I want to take you somewhere. Where? Uh, that would be a surprise. Another surprise. I'm full of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, thank you. Nice. Uh, okay, then I'll see you then. dinner with a friend. Yeah, right. Oh. Okay. Which? You can't start with the shoes. I have to wear one of the pairs that he bought me. Right, right, right. Um, those are cute. Well, what dresses do you have that go with those? Where is he taking you? I have no idea. Well, how are you supposed to know what to wear? <laughs> Why don't you tell me where you're taking her? Because you're going to tell me I'm crazy. These will work everywhere unless there's a dress code. There's not a dress code. I believe I'm taking fashion advice from you. Look at me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, watch your step. Watch your step. Can I please take this thing off now? No way. Why, you gotta play along for just a little bit longer. <laughs> I'm not very good at playing along. Uh, yeah, I could force that. Well, it would have helped if I knew where I was going. Oh, oh, oh. I right, put it this way. To me, this is the most romantic place in the world. You ready? Okay, one, two, three. A little league field. I put on a little black dress to come to a little league field. Are you crazy? Ah, maybe a little. Hey. Here we go. Salud. Cheers. Hmm. You know, I literally spent my childhood here. Eleven years in Little League in this very park. I didn't know you grew up in Roan Field. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I spent three years playing Little League with Coach Thomas, and then Coach Kapinski, Coach Pope, Coach Jarvis, uh, <laughs> Coach O'Brien, and then Coach Thomas again in Roan Field High. So how did you come to play in your hometown? Oh, it was pure luck. My contract got traded. 
Did you ever think about doing anything else? There's life after baseball? Oh, I don't know. I guess I'm just too boneheaded to think about doing anything else. Enough about me. What about you? Growing up, I always thought that I'd write the great American novel. Hmm. But then I got to college and realized that other people had already done that, and probably much better than I ever would. What? Well, here I was thinking that my problem is I have no idea what I want to do when I grow up. Your problem is you never let yourself play like a child. That's not true. It's part about me or you? <laughs> Come on, let's play ball. What about your arm? Don't worry about it. Come on, I'll take it easy on you. Come on. It's all about the basics. The most important thing is your stance. Okay, feet shoulder width apart. Good. Weight on your toes, not your heels. Bend your knees. Okay. All right. And these beautiful little baby blues of yours, keep them right there on that ball. All right, you ready? <laughs> it's getting late. What? I better get home. So, how did it go? Why aren't you in bed? I was. So, did you and your friend have a good dinner tonight? We did, thank you. So, do you like him? Like who? Ben. Why do you think it was Ben I went out with tonight? Mom, it's obvious. You don't date men you work with, and he's the only other man you've met since we moved here. Katie, Ben, and I are just friends. Okay, we had dinner tonight, and that's it. Go to bed. Um, bed. Sorry. I got her in bed an hour ago, but she wouldn't go to sleep. Oh, it doesn't matter. So, how'd it go? It was a bad idea. I mean, why didn't I listen to myself? It was a great idea. He's really cute. I thought you liked him. But that's not the point. You must have been crazy. No, you weren't. Look, why can't you just go on a date with a guy that you really like and be in the moment and just have a good time? Because I'm not an in-the-moment kind of person. I need to know what's coming. And if I'm going to date a guy, he needs to know where he's going. Why do you need to have a future? Because I do. Well, we know exactly where Ben's going. He's going back to the major leagues as soon as possible. What's he going to do when it all comes to an end? <laughs> I give up. And where does that leave the two of you? You both still share Jake. He's happy to be here. Yeah, I see that. Uh, where's Caitlin? Uh, she's at her tennis lesson. Cool. So, uh, how long is your trip? Uh, it's just a, a two gamer. You know, we'll be back on Monday. Um, are we okay? I can't. I'm sorry. You're a great guy. I just... Can we just be friends? Look, Megan... Please. Okay. Yesterday didn't happen. Great. So I will drop him off on Monday. Yeah. Okay, see you then. Can we still be friends, line, huh? How many times have you used that? Does she mean it? Uh, well, sorry, buddy. That's yeah, okay. You know, what I need to do is focus on getting back in the game.
Hi. Hi. Go inside. Um, so see you Wednesday? How's he doing? He's playing again. He started a double play yesterday. Why don't you call and congratulate him? Why won't you talk to him? It's complicated, Katie. No, it isn't. You like him and he likes you. You're making each other totally unhappy. There's nothing complicated about it. Dude, you're playing again. You're supposed to be happy. Oh, man, I cannot believe that you, of all people, are giving up this easily. Why don't you just call her? Say what? Well, uh, I'm sorry that I asked you out on a date. I'm not. What I am sorry about is, is that it didn't work out. Okay, I'm sorry that I can't get her out of my mind. You know, the trouble with adults is they can be stubborn. They dig in their heels and they won't budge. Then we have to budge them. And we have to do it before it's too late. And how do you propose we do that? We have to get them together somewhere where they have to talk to each other. <laughs> For the mouths of babes. Okay, and I suppose you have a plan? Happy birthday, buddy. Mmm, uh, yummy cake. Supermarket special. Um, don't you have something else for Jake? Oh, I do. I forgot. Um, it's in the kitchen. Uh, Riles, would you help me? Mm. No, for sure. You need my help too? No, we're good. Want to come too? Sure. <laughs> Give. I think we've been left alone on purpose. Uh huh. I think so. I, um, I saw in the paper that you're playing again. Oh, really? You checking up on me? 
Maybe every now and then. I miss you. Me too. I think I made a mistake. Hmm. Well, I think that we should try again. Well, why don't we take it one step at a time and see where it leads us? Okay. Let's do exactly that. Well, I'm glad that's over. Oh. <laughs> ben, how come we haven't been to one of your games before? Well, I don't know. I didn't know you were interested in going. You ever been to a baseball game before? I've never dated a player before. Hmm. Okay, well, we're gonna have to make that right. Two tickets to the next home game coming up. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Put it there, partner. Can I come in? Absolutely. Whoa, look at you two looking all cute. Thanks. Ready to go? Are we late? Of course. Yeah, we gotta rock and roll. Come on. Mm-hmm. Hey, what's up, coach? Hold on a sec. Uh-huh. Okay, well, thanks for letting me know, Coach. Is everything okay? Uh, well, I'm not playing today. What? Why? I've been traded. Well, the bottom line is I'm going to have to be back east for at least the next year or two. Do you have any choice about it? I mean, not if I want to make a play for the majors again. I obviously don't fit into this organization's plans anymore. And if you go to New Jersey? I don't know. I mean, they seem to want me. There's got to be a chance. Then you have to go. A dream as big as yours is a part of you. And you have to chase it. Or you have to choose to let it go. You can't let anyone else take that away from you. Yeah, you're right. What happens to Jake? Well, that hasn't been decided, honey. 